So in this video series, I'm going to review some PHP packages and show you the basics of them. So when I'm working with this, I've got like a little scratch pad uh, that I put together and you can use it as well as you want. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's just an index file with a couple of um, error settings and uh, a link to the composer. So let's get started. Let's clone this. So we're going to clone that down and then we're going to cd into scratchpad so for this episode we're going to show the whoops error library so this is already included in the scratchpad uh, when you download it so i'm just going to show you what it is and how to use it so it gives you a nice pretty design um, for your errors so you can see what's happening see what's in inside the uh, environment stack at the time so let's get that pulled down so we want to do a composer install. So that puts the whoops error library into our uh, project. And I'm just going to open this up in PHP Storm now. So let's open up the index.php. So like I said, this scratch pad, it just gives you some basic structures to start up with. And it also starts up the whoops error library. So all we're doing here was setting the push handler to a pretty page handler. So this is probably what you're going to use in dev. Um, and then we just register that. So let's um, let's trigger an error then. So let's create a function um, called add. And it's going to take in two integers, um, a and b. And then we're just going to return the sum of a plus b so now let's call this function um so we're going to say add and we'll do one add two so now let's start up a little mini server and um, to do that you just type php dash s local host and then give it a port and we're going to give it a port of eight thousand that starts the server up for you so let's just open that Give that a refresh and we get the sum of three. So let's now pass it a string instead, um, ABC. So now because we've typed in this, this is going to fail because it's expecting an integer and we're passing it a string. So let's give this page a refresh. And now we get our whoops pretty error page. So what this does is over here, it shows you where the, the codes failed. So in this function, um, is, is where the error happened. So down here, we haven't actually got anything to set, but this will show you if you've got any um, get post variables or anything like that. Uh, and it also gives you the current server stack. So it shows you the actual request coming in. Um, over here, it gives you the actual error. Um, argument to pass to add must be of type int string given. It tells you what file it was called in. But also here, you get um, links to Google, DuckDuckGo and Stack Overflow. So what that actually does is it puts the error message in to Google search. So you can actually search to see if anyone else had the same error um, and think of uh, possible fixes. And also down the left hand side here, there's a stack trace. So obviously this is a very simple application, so there's not much to it, but it shows you in reverse order how um, the er error got to come about. So this is where the error was. It was a type error. Um, index line 11 but it was called from add on index.php on line 15 so when you click that you see over here it jumps down to the line 15 so it's saying it was called here and then the error is here so obviously as you get into using frameworks or bigger applications you'll have loads of these and you can be able to step through and see how that code was executed so there's more handlers just than the pretty uh, page handler so that obviously works great for dev but um what if you were working, let's say you're working with a, a command line application. So you might want a plain text handler. So now if we uh, refresh on this error, we get something back in the, in plain text. So we, obviously if you're working with a command line app, you don't want to be displaying all the HTML. So you just get a raw text error back. Um, and it's pretty, pretty much the same thing. So it, it tells you the type of error, um, where it was thrown, what line number, and then also you get your stack trace. So this is what we have down the left hand side. So it's showing you where the error was and how it got there, where it was called from. 
So another one of its handlers um, is probably when you want to be building uh, APIs. Um, there's a JSON response handler and an XML handler. So let's just show you the JSON one. So refresh on the same error again. So see, now it provides the error information back in a JSON array. So obviously, if you were building an API and um, you had a, a third party client that was um, reading the API, you obviously want the response back in JSON rather than a, a HTML blob or a, a plain text blob. So uh, you can actually process this. Same information again, what the mess, uh, error was, uh, where it was thrown, and then um, what Y number and file uh, in the stack trace. So I'll just show you the XML one. It's same thing again, XML response handler. I'll just give this a refresh and you get the information back in XML. So if you're building a SOAP client, uh, you'll probably want to use this rather than JSON. Or even you could build in an option to um, f uh, choose which response handler you wanted back. So that's it for this episode. Um, stay tuned because I'll be covering more PHP packages over the coming weeks. If you've got any suggestions for PHP packages that you like or maybe you've even written and you want me to um, review them and show people how to get up and running with them, uh, drop me a message.